Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla, and if you're interested in lifestyle videos sprinkled with magic, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As you guys can tell by the title of today's video, we have a very, very exciting unboxing because I'm going to be sharing with you guys my dream bag that I got from my trip to Paris. So let's just go ahead and unbox the bag and then I'll talk to you guys about how I got it, how much I paid, and also I'll share with you guys the that refund process. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. Here is the bag. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to be sharing this bag with you guys and honestly just like looking at this bag makes me so excited because as you guys can tell I got this bag from the 31 Rue Cambon flagship store in Paris like how exciting is that? I hope I'm not butchering that, but either way, to get this bag from the flagship store in Paris is just it's just like so surreal. But let's just unbox it. <laughs> So here is the box, and as you guys can tell, it is the flagship Paris store packaging. It has the white box with the black writing instead of the black box with the white writing. And if you guys aren't super familiar with like Chanel or just like luxury shopping, you can only get this packaging at the flagship store in Paris. So super, super exciting. As you guys can tell, I've already unboxed it. I was too excited not to unbox it, but you guys already know what it typically looks like when it's wrapped with like the Chanel ribbon and the camellia flower, but I was just too excited to not unbox it. But I'm sure you guys only care about the bag, so I will show you guys the bag now. <laughs> Here is the dust bag. I think you guys can already tell by the dust bag, but here she is. <gasps> Wow, oh my gosh, I'm so, so, so excited. And I cannot believe this bag is in my collection. Like this is the bag of my dreams. Like I'm shook. But here she is, she is so beautiful. This is the medium classic flap in beige caviar leather and gold hardware. And um, I just think she's so stunning and I cannot believe she is in my collection. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I have been dreaming about adding a classic flap to my collection and the fact that I was able to get one in Paris, it just blows my mind and just like, oh my gosh, like I know luxury goods and just like materialistic things doesn't mean the world to everyone, but just being able to treat myself to this bag, it's just, it just makes me so happy and I just think she's so beautiful. So let's go ahead and talk about how I got the bag. I had this trip planned for a while and I knew I wanted to at least try to look for a classic flap. I didn't know how lucky I was going to be and I didn't know if I was actually going to get it. So I was just like, we'll see what happens. But I definitely saved up for this trip because I knew if I found the perfect bag, I wanted to be able to buy it. So how I actually got it, I actually didn't have an appointment at all. I reached out to my friend for her sales associates information, but they never responded to me. So I was just like, I'll just go into the store and see what happens. So I first went to the 19 Rue Cambon Chanel store and I just was like, we'll just see what happens. And I got set up with a sales associate and she was lovely and she showed me a lot of different options. Like she did show me a smaller classic flap and a medium sized classic flap, but it just wasn't the color that I wanted. She showed me the nude bag I believe but the nude bag has like a little bit more of a pinky undertone and if you guys know me I'm not really a pink girly so I really just wanted like a classic beige bag but unfortunately they didn't have it in their store and she even tried to look up the stock at the 31 Chanel store I don't even know if I'm saying that right but like the 31 Chanel store that was like right down the street and they didn't have anything in stock so I was just like Ugh, okay like I guess maybe I'll just try to go look at the store or I'll try to come back another day so unfortunately I didn't have any luck at the 19 Rue Cambon Chanel store but luckily Jill who you guys saw in the vlogs she had luck and she was able to purchase a black wall on chain so I'm really excited for her that she was able to make a Chanel purchase and then after she purchased her bag we decided to just walk down the street and check the other store just to see what else they had in stock and you guys I'm so glad that we did because one the 31 Rue Cambon Chanel store was just huge like I think I think they're both considered like the flagship store but the 31 Rue Cambon store is definitely a lot bigger and had a lot more inventory I got set up with the most amazing sales associate Hui Li. I hope I'm saying her name right, but she was incredible. She knew exactly what I wanted when I told her I'm looking for a beige 
classic flap like if you have a small if you have a medium i'm just looking for beige and she also asked me is this your first chanel purchase and i was like yes this is my first chanel purchase i've actually purchased a vintage chanel bag before but of course it's like not from the boutique so yes it was my first chanel purchase from the boutique and then she came out with this bag and the reason it wasn't showing in stock from like the other store or whatever was because it was like literally just out of the box like it wasn't on display or anything they haven't even put it out on the floor so the fact that she brought this out for me i was just like dying like the minute i saw it i was just like yes add to cart take my credit card this is the one and I'm just so 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 happy with this bag and I just I just can't believe it's in my collection so shout out to you Hailey for making my Chanel dreams come true like this is my dream bag I am so 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 happy that I was able to pick this up it's just it's just stunning okay but here is a closer look at the bag the leather is absolutely stunning and I specifically wanted this color because it is a true nude but it has the beautiful quilting and then the gold hardware I still haven't taken the stickers off or anything so that's why the stickers are still on but she is so beautiful and then when you turn the lock it opens into the beautiful double flap so it has the double flap here as you guys can tell and on the inside it looks like that like I still have the stuffing in there and everything and then it has this additional compartment here and then it also has an additional slip in the back here in case you want to put like your passport or something but how beautiful is this bag and then as you can see it has beautiful gold hardware with the classic chain which I'm obsessed with so as you guys can tell I immediately purchased the bag and she even offered to have the bag delivered to my hotel because it was like the middle of the day where we're still going to be walking around and I didn't want to be carrying just like a huge Chanel bag with me like in the streets of Paris like if I was walking around with this I think I would have been like so terrified especially going on like public transportation and everything so it just all worked out amazing and I'm so 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 happy this bag is in my collection like this is my dream bag I think I had a things I want to buy video a few years ago and I literally talked about wanting a Chanel classic flap and I finally got it so I'm just so 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 happy I was finally able to make this happen and especially in Paris like at the flagship store in Paris like it just makes me so happy and again like I know materialistic things like aren't for everyone and everything but just like having this bag in my collection just makes me so happy and the fact that I was able to purchase this bag myself is just it just I'm like so proud of myself and just like having this bag in my collection is just like a fantasy it's like a dream to me because I didn't think it was possible especially with all of the price increases happening so I just didn't know if I would actually ever buy it but I did. She's here. She is beautiful. And I'm so excited to finally be able to use her. And I honestly was a little hesitant about getting a bag because as you guys know, I've been pretty open about it, but I was laid off at the beginning of the year and I was like, is this responsible? But my friends were like, you've been saving for this bag. You've wanted this bag for so long and you're in Paris. Take advantage of the VAT refund. So I did and it makes me so happy, but I feel like this bag brought me luck because literally the week after we got home from Paris, I got a job. I'm so excited to finally announce that I got a job. And so just like having this bag reminds me of my trip to Paris. And also it's just like a huge celebration for my new job. Yay! But anyways, that is pretty much how I got the bag, but let's go ahead and talk about the pricing because I know that's what you guys are all interested in. So I waited to film this video until after I got my VAT refund back so I could give you guys like all the calculations and everything. So I have like all of my calculations here. So I bought this bag for 9,700 euros and that's equivalent to $10,436.13 in US dollars. Also, if you guys were curious, I purchased this with my Sapphire Preferred card because that card doesn't have any international fees so if you guys are traveling internationally definitely check out the sapphire preferred because it's just been a really great travel card and I think the annual fees are definitely worth it but anyways back to the bag so I finally got my VAT refund yesterday so that was about like three weeks after I submitted my papers and everything and I got back one thousand two hundred and fifty five dollars and forty one cents so essentially I paid nine thousand one hundred and eighty dollars and 62 cents for this bag and if I paid for this bag in California from the Chanel boutique I would have been paying ten thousand two hundred dollars 
plus $739.50 with the tax and everything. So essentially, if I were to pay for this bag in the States, I would have been paying almost $11,000. I would have been paying $10,939.50. So in total, I saved $1,758.88. And yes, my sales tax is high where I live. I live in California. So I saved a lot of money, which I'm really, really excited for. Yes, I know that $9,000 is a lot to pay for a bag, it's a luxury handbag but it makes me feel like a little bit better that I was able to purchase this in Europe and save like almost $2,000. So hopefully that was helpful if you guys were curious about the price in Europe and like with the VAT refund and everything. So yeah, that was the pricing. Hopefully that was helpful if you guys are traveling to Europe over the summer and you guys are interested in purchasing a luxury bag. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about the VAT refund process. So immediately when I purchased the bag, I gave them my passport and then they gave me my VAT refund papers which had like all of the paperwork and everything and it was honestly a really easy process so I flew out of CDG and they basically had a VAT refund like little office and everything so essentially what you do is you bring your papers don't forget your papers don't lose them you bring your papers and scan them at a machine and if it's green you can just drop them in the like box that they have of all the VAT refund papers and then if it turns red don't freak out you just go speak with an agent and it was pretty quick like he looked at my papers and then he asked to look at the bag and that was pretty much it and then after that I dropped my papers in the VAT refund box and then three weeks later I got my refund back which is amazing so yeah that was pretty much my experience buying a bag in France and doing the whole VAT refund process and everything so hopefully this video was helpful I again I'm just so excited to have this bag in my collection I'm so excited to finally use her again this has just been my dream bag for so long so I just feel so lucky and blessed and fortunate to even have this bag and to have even traveled to Europe to purchase this bag so I'm just so excited and I just love her <laughs> and with that I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here I hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful if you guys liked it please go ahead and give it a thumbs up let me know down below in the comments what your dream handbag is I would absolutely love to know be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video from me let's stay connected follow me on my socials they're both just Kayla's ever after and I hope you guys are having an amazing day I love you guys so much don't forget to manifest your dream life you can do it and I will see you guys in the next one bye Bye.